Thank you so much for watching The Real Source with me, Tafadzwa. In this video, I'm reviewing The Red Sea Diving Resort, a new thriller that is currently streaming on Netflix. It is the story of a rescue mission that is orchestrated by members of Israel's famed intelligence agency, Mossad. The people being rescued are Ethiopian Jews, and the film is directed by Gideon Raff, an Israeli filmmaker, probably best known for his TV series Prisoners of War, and that's the show that formed the inspiration for the creation of the hit series Homeland. In the starring role is Chris Evans of Avengers fame, and he plays the part of Ari Levinson, the Mossad agent who comes up with this operation to rescue the persecuted Ethiopians. He's supported by a solid cast that includes Michael K. Williams as the brave Ethiopian who wants safety for his people. So what are my thoughts on this movie? I think at the level of entertainment, if you're just going to look at it purely at the level of entertainment, the movie is entertaining, it's engaging, it does what a thriller does it keeps you once in a while at the edge of your seat you're sort of rooting for these guys to succeed in what they want to do that's all fair and fine but i think at a deeper level for me specifically as an african audience member i struggle with the perpetual depiction of africans as sort of either a military ruler slash military rebel type character who is evil and has no soul or a very needy individual who can't really think for the themselves or very very corrupt these are generally the images that you see portrayed about africa and we see it in this movie it happens again and uh, i just had issues with that the reason why for me this is a big loss is because the ethiopian jewish dynamic could have been explored just that dynamic alone ethiopians who are also jewish belonging both to africa and to israel that dynamic was never fully explored it could have been interesting it could have made for some interesting drama. Michael K. Williams' character, for example, could have been a perfect opportunity to explore this dynamic and this tension. I don't have a problem with people being rescued. I don't have a problem with people working together. I don't have a problem even with this idea of somebody from somewhere else coming to you and offering you help. That's not an, a problem for me, but it was the two-dimensional portrayal rather that I had a big issue with. Coming to Michael K. Williams' character and the casting of his character it brings me to another point which is the whole issue of Africa constantly being represented as one big country where we all sound the same. I'm certainly not making the case that Michael K. Williams shouldn't have played the part of Kadebe although some would think that but I believe that artists and performers should be able to play parts from other cultures on condition that they get things like the accent right and it doesn't quite happen with Michael K. Williams in this movie and so what you get in the end is this generic African accent that makes people continue to believe that all Africans sound the same which isn't the case. So in the end this is a movie that I felt portrayed Africans in the way that we've seen time and time again. Yes Chris Evans performance was great. Yes Ben Kingsley shined as he always does. Yes there are some of the action sequences and tension moments that really worked and clicked but as an African audience member I must say I felt quite disappointed because this was another demonstration of kind of this limited view of what Africans are the compelling and textured stories that Africans have to offer and this movie in particular I think was an opportunity to remedy that not to fix it but to at least look at the African story in a slightly different way but it was an opportunity missed well those are my thoughts i would love to hear what you thought of the movie if you've watched it please leave your comments below in the comment section i would love to hear from you but from me here on the real source this is tafadz was saying thank you so much for watching and take care